All right, so I figured while I had this going here, I might as well start from this end since it took me a little while to remember how to get uh, analog TV out of SigDigger and set all the settings. But what you can see going on here is that the uh, RTSA software is running in the background with a Spectran V6. And, uh, well, you can't really see it in the center area here, but I have the Spectran V6 up, an IQ demodulator, and then an HTTP server. That is feeding uh, over to SigDigger. And I'll, I'll start from the beginning here in a second and explain how I've got this set up. But that is feeding uh, SigDigger. And then SigDigger has a FSK uh, inspector open. You can see on the bottom, well, actually I've broke out the tab into its own window here. And let's see, I have to make the screen bigger. And then I just was kind of messing around with the bits uh, per tone, the phase, adjusting that. I mean, I went through and messed with a lot of things here uh, until I got it where it's a pretty good live feed right now. I switched off to NTSC to custom and was um, messing with DC levels, sync, image. Uh, you can kind of see there. So, all right, uh, let me make a uh, mental snapshot of where things are at right now. And let's try and start from the beginning here and see how, how did I uh, get this set up. So let's stop this. And what we'll do is, I was actually looking at some different GNU radio things here, but we're going to get set up with the Lib Spectran stream and a Soapy block, uh, which was updated about three weeks ago. And there was a, uh, just something that uh, I've been keeping an eye on, and I wanted to see how this uh, how this works out now. So if we get clone this down, which I've already done, but just for the sake of this. Uh, video here. I'm right in my home directory. Get clone that lib spectrum stream down. Make a directory. Build. Change directory build. And let's should go fairly quick here. Let's make this like we normally do. And sudo so make install. And sudo so ld config. And then if we jump over to the Soapy Spectrum V6, you can see that was also updated about three weeks ago. And we'll get clone that down for now into our home directory. And I'll just rinse repeat here, make directory build, change directory build, CMake, sudo make install. Now granted some of this may change here um, soon, but this is just where things are at now. Now if I do a soapy, uh, regardless if the Spectran is on or not, um, we'll see that driver now listed there, along with a hacker if I have plugged in. But so I'm sure this will get updated where maybe some of these settings are uh, adjustable or there may be something I'm mixing, uh, missing. Also this run vote profile, the reason why you're, the reason why you're seeing that is uh, there was a, there was something I installed a while back um, that seemed to uh, indicate it could improve in, por in uh, performance for some soapy modules. So if you want to get rid of that, you would just run vote profile and it'll go through some tests. That'll also, I highly recommend uh, that you do that anyways, uh, because that will uh, optimize uh, GNU radio. So, but again, for this video, I'll just skip that for right now. So now we should be set up to where we can open up our RTSA Pro software. And I'm gonna hit a new mission Spectran, I'll click out there, IQ demodulator, and then HTTP server. And for now, I come down here, double left click, go to connection, and uh, I believe it's just maybe just hard coded for now into the SOBI block, but port 
one, two, three, four. I know, what was it, uh, five, eight, eight, zero was about where the uh, FPV analog camera um, is transmitting at. And let me think, so if we start this up, we also need to double left click on our IQ demodulator, go down to main, and let's center this five eight eight zero. Do a span of like what was it uh twenty I think. So yeah, that probably looks about right. And we'll come down here. We'll go to Sig Digger. And I've already, uh, you know, the device, I've got a Spectrum V6. It did a sample rate of 20. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It's on. We'll say, no, I don't want to decimate it down. Okay, we have our, oop, we have our window open here. Uh, something, something around like that. I guess I could probably take that down, uh, but we come down, open up a, let's see, FSK demodulator, and then see if I can remember here, so I raise the bits up, I think I had the baud rate up, uh, let's just go ahead and start this and see where we're at. And you just have to kind of mess around here. I think I did sync. Mm, was it DC? Honestly, I couldn't tell you what all these settings are because it's been a little while. But just to show you what is possible um, right now, feeding from the RTSA um, HTTP stream, I guess you'd say, into Sig Digger in this case for you know further signal analysis using, uh, well, in this case, the open source software uh, Sig Digger. Um, you know, I would encourage <laughs> learn a little bit more about. Uh, all the all the settings in Sig Digger. There's actually a really helpful uh, manual that Sig Digger puts together uh, that you can find on the repository. I should have linked that. Matter of fact, I'll link that if I can remember in the description of this uh, video. But yeah, anyways, this was just a real quick. Uh, while I was sitting here messing with it, I figured I'd record it, show how to get at least this far, and then uh, you know do do some additional uh, research and and, and learning. Uh, to just take this uh, even further. All right. Thanks.